Over the next six weeks, you will be challenged to make room in your life for what matters most, and you have volunteered to let us follow your stories for encouragement and inspiration. Are you guys ready for the next week's challenge? Sure. sure. Okay, this week's challenge is for you guys to replace two of your normally scheduled activities with something that you're going to do with your family. All right, so you take two activities that are on your sheet already that you've seen for two weeks and replace those, take them out and insert time with family and pick two things that you would like to do, whatever it is, play a video game, go out to dinner, go to the park, whatever it is, and do those activities with your family, specifically. I was excited to hear this week's challenge because I, I know that I need to, you know, create those um, spots for spending time with my family. Brett works the night shift, so we, our schedules, we're just, we're, we go in different directions um, a lot. So when we do get to spend time together, we need to, you know, make sure that it's meaningful. Monday, my grandpa's coming in town, so we're gonna go out to eat with them and stuff but I have to give up my show, Kyle XY. I'll give up that and I won't record it or anything. It's kind of hard to get everybody in my family together. Not everybody, but just like one other person sometimes. Our family doesn't really seem to get together at the dinner table and, and I really enjoy that and I'm gonna to try to work that out this week where we all can at least sit down to dinner together at least one night at the dinner table, not in front of the TV with TV trays, and uh, try to connect and, and uh, see what's going on with everybody. I have a couple of ideas um, for this week. I think um, um, we pass each other a lot, my husband and I. Uh, I spend a lot of time at home with Blake, but he could be in one room and I'm in the other room. I've got room to do these things and just have to um, kind of get creative and try to make the most of our time and I think it'll be good. Uh, I've been bringing a lot of work home um, and that's there's a few excuses for that but it's not necessary. I, I'm, my job does not require that I bring work home and that's just something that I do because I enjoy doing it so um, I'm, I'm really going to make it my goal this week to like not do any work from home. I'm publicly announcing um, that I'm probably going to have to give up some of my cooking shows that I watch. This week's challenge was to replace two of your normal activities for two family activities. Does anyone want to start with that? Well, we kind of, together, Chris and I, um, Stephen was home from USF with his girlfriend Kelly, and uh, Chris doesn't like to play card games, but we talked about us playing a card game, and. They took us up on it and we spent an evening around the table where I probably would have been on the internet, the computer, or watching an old movie or something like that. And Chris probably would have been doing the same thing, but we played uh, Uno with Stephen and Kelly and we had a lot of fun. Yeah. Initially I was like, no, because when I have my downtime, I want my downtime and I don't, I don't want to talk or interact really. And it was a kind of early evening, I guess, and it ended up being a lot of fun. It was very enjoyable. It was um, nice spending time with family. We got to uh, sit down at the dining room table and play cards. Uh, and uh, the, all, all of us played, Blake and Stephen and Kelly and Chris and I, we played uh, Uno and, and you know, it seems like something so small and trivial, but it, it does bring you together and you do talk about other things and, and, it, and it was really great. I don't like cards. I'd rather play treble. How about you, Jenny? I know from your timesheet you said there wasn't a lot of time, so you would have to rearrange some space. Um, it wasn't. It was not that hard for me. I just had to say no to some things that you know I could say no to and should have probably all along. I had challenged myself to not bring any um, work home with me. Uh, I was surprised it did not make a difference in my in my work at all. Um, I wasn't behind because of it. I wasn't ahead because of it. 
Um, so, like, that has encouraged me to, you know, hopefully leave that, just, you know, unless it's a dire necessity, leave it at, leave it at work. I don't have to do any work from home. I think it'll make a big difference in my family. Um, Taylor will see that I'm not on the computer all the time. Um, Brett is not going to have to, to vie with work for my attention. Um, I, I believe that it's going to make a big difference for my family, a positive difference. Taylor, she enjoys, uh, she's just, she loves coloring and so, um, you know, a lot of our evenings or whatever, you know, I'll put on some Spongebob for her and she'll color while I'm doing, you know, other things and so instead of doing that, I um, I sat down with her and you know just colored with her. Took some time to color with her. We didn't have the TV on, so we were just you know chit chatting. And um, so you know I just had my full attention on her. For Brett, he works the night shift, and um, and sometimes he's so sweet to um, like if I'm running late in the morning or if I just want to get you know 15 more minutes more of sleep, I can wake him up in the morning, and he'll help me get Taylor ready and get her lunch ready. This week. Uh, I wanted to not wake him up and just let him, you know, get his, his good rest. Uh, so that's what I did for him. He might not have even realized it. What about you, Kristen? My parents had asked me to go, me and my sister, to go play some golf with them and we could drive the golf cart and everything. And I was going to go to sleep. Well, I had just thought about the challenge that we were given. I'm like, okay, I'll go. And we wound up having a lot of fun and I got to drive the golf cart. I enjoyed it a bunch because I just haven't been able to spend a lot of time with them and then going golfing, we had so much fun. Does anyone think that they can make this something that comes naturally to you where you don't have to think, uh, let me do this to fulfill my challenge instead of let me do this just because I want to do this. And we had so much fun golfing with my parents that me and my sister both want to do it every Sunday afternoon. That's really neat. I don't think anything's easy, really. I mean, trying to break old habits and um, I don't do anything that's so important that, that I couldn't stop doing it, but I'm in such a habit that it, it takes real effort. There was an opportunity to just take a ride with um, Dave and Blake to get pizza one night. and. Uh, they said, come on, Mom, go with us, and I was reading a very interesting <laughs> book, and I was like, no, I want to read, and I ended up not going, and, and I am sorry that I didn't go, but, you know, when your 14-year-old asks you to go, and your husband wants you to go, you better get in the car and go. It does take effort. It is difficult, um, but it's worth it. My family is made up entirely of men. I found myself reading, um, the editorial in the back of Sports Illustrated instead of reading Glamour magazine. I knew that I had transformed into a new person, but I wouldn't change it for anything. My favorite thing about my family is that uh, we all have a pretty good sense of humor and uh, sometimes we need it, <laughs> but I think it, it's, it's really, uh, we all get along well. My favorite thing about my family is our sense of humor. We. Uh, uh, Taylor makes Brett and I laugh all the time. We make each other laugh. We make fun of each other, um, uh, you know, in, in sweet ways. Uh, I just, I just love how happy and full of laughter that our family is. My favorite thing about my family is the way we get along. Like we'll pick on each other and stuff, but it's still like a warm kind of feel. Well, you don't think about doing something different if you've got like a pattern or a routine that you're into and you're kind of like stuck. Uh, but when you're given a challenge like this, <clears throat> it makes you think about it and you pull away from what you were doing because let's face it, TV is not all that important. There's, there's, a, there's not a lot on there that's really all that good. And you know, you've got things that are more important sitting right around next to you on the, at the dining room table or on the couch.